Hey guys, it's Mario and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of this Little Mermaid doll released back in 2007. Uh, she's a special edition doll and she was released for the DVD uh, before Blu-rays existed and this was released to celebrate that. She was actually designed by an artist for Disney and her name is Jamie, I believe that's how you say it, Jamie Tra Trashed. I wrote it down. Um, she's also responsible for designing the limited edition 17 inch Snow White doll, uh, the limited edition Tiana, and she did all of the Giselle dolls for Disney Store, including the special edition wedding one. And she also did a Tinkerbell that's kind of similar to this area. So she was working for Disney at the time and obviously she created beautiful dolls because Snow White Limited Edition is one of the most, you know, wanted doll by collectors. All right guys, so let's take a look at the box so we can get rid of all this glare. So as you see, the box is really cute. It's a shell. You see, and it has the logo on the bottom from the DVD, the Little Mermaid Special Edition. And it has all these cute little designs all around it. Right here on the top, you can see that it says Disney Store. And ages eight and up. She's obviously a collector doll, not for kids. The back of the box, it has the image, which was the same as the DVD back in the day. The retail price for this doll was $99.50. Wow, she was expensive. And I guess she went on sale for $69 at some point. Um, I got her on eBay recently and I paid way less than both of those prices. All right, and here's a little description. You guys can go ahead and pause if you want to read that. And then it has um, a little description of some of the details. Dramatic new face paint with lifelike eyelashes, hence styled flowing hair that captures the spirit of a mermaid on the water. There you can read the rest. She does have a scepter with a, um, and it lights up. And actually, before I take her out, I wanna show you guys a picture of the stock photo of the prototype before she was finished. So take a look at that now. All right, so you guys saw that. Um, it was beautiful from the beginning. Obviously, there were some slight changes with the face, I would say, and she didn't have the seahorse um, scepter added yet. So it's really not a big difference, but um, it just shows you that the base, her stand, was actually, obviously at the beginning, was made out of seashells, like real seashells, and then they were casted on resin, and that's what the base ends up looking like. Now, I already took her out of the box, but she's not going to be deboxed. She's staying this way because her display is so pretty and she's such a rare doll. Sometimes you have to pay a lot to get her. I, I got her for a good deal and I've seen some of them sell for a good deal, but sometimes, you know, it, it gets higher. So she's gonna stay in the box. Plus I bought her for my partner, so it's just not really mine. <laughs> but let's take a closer look at Ariel so you guys can see all the little details because there's a lot of details on this doll. Look at her face, it's very beautiful. She has stars in her eyes and they're light blue and green. She has long lashes and red lips. As you see, her hair does have gel. Um, it's not as rough or tough as it looks. It's a little bit of gel just to keep it in place. She has her little um, hair to the side. Now on her hair, she has a seashell, a little star, and this really cute um, beads. I'm sorry, I was on the way. See them? Really pretty. She also has more beads here and a little star. Look, let me show you guys so you can see that the scepter lights up. It's a really old doll and I'm surprised that it lights up at all, but it does. The seashell looks really cool. Seahorse, sorry. The little beads hanging. Back here, you can see the stand, which is really nice. It has glitter and a, buffer, uh, a bunch of different little seashells. Her 
Her bra has a lot of beads and they're purple and white. She also has this sheer material and sequins. Going down, she has this sort of, um, it's kind of like a, like a cape, I would say. Kind of looks like seaweed and just stuff you find under the sea, basically. Her tail, uh, the bottom of the tail, the fins are really, really cool. So you can see there's about three different layers here. We have this layer, then this one, and this one. If I ever find her for a really good price, I might just buy another one to have her out of the box because I'm sure there's a lot of stuff we, we're missing here just because she's in the box. You can see her feet if you lift it up. She's just very pretty. Alrighty guys, well, it's a really short review because since she's in the box, there's not much to go over, but um, I really do love this doll. She's beautiful, so detailed, so different from the dolls that we get today, and it has that, that feeling of vintage. It's, it's just very pretty. Alrighty guys, well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.